Welcome into Tennessee Titans today. I am Tom Downey. Some interesting trade rumors right now around the Titans, specifically at the quarterback position. And we've got Trey Lance trade rumors as part of those, which I find very interesting, if maybe a bit out of context. Uh, there's also some Tannehill buzz. Could he be traded out of Tennessee? We'll break that down. We begin, though, with uh, with Trey Lance. As Lance shared this photo on his Instagram uh, a couple days ago when now former Niners uh, Director of Pro Personnel, R Rand Carthon, had been hired as the Titans GM. And Lance put on the fingers crossed emoji, which everyone... Some people took as, he wants to go with Rand to Tennessee. And I don't actually think that's the case. Uh, if you look at other Lance Instagram posts, he does that as the good luck, basically, which I think is pretty fair. But he also shared another post about Rand Carthon today, which or yesterday, I guess, at this point, which clearly he likes him, and that, that's a good sign there. And with quarterback uncertainty in Tennessee, and with the Brock Purdy surprise emergence in San Francisco... I wouldn't completely rule out the idea of a Trey Lance trade, be it to Tennessee or elsewhere. Remember, Lance was the number three overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. Uh, I will use the phrase shattered his ankle, which basically what it was was a nasty injury. Back in week two, he had two surgeries to repair, which... I think people was like, oh, that's bad. It's actually kind of expected. One to fix it, then the other one to kind of help clean out and get the rehab going. He'll be back in time for OTAs. Of course, the emergence of Brock Purdy has made at least some question. Do the Niners need Lance? Because Purdy has outplayed Lance in the very small sample size we've seen for both guys. Lance had struggled with accuracy, which we kind of thought was going to be the case coming out of North Dakota State. Uh, the four starts is... Somewhat deceptive, uh, in large part just because, well, he barely played in one of them in the second game this year. In the first game this year against the Bears, which helped tank his completion percentage, is very tough to value. That game was horrible weather. It was not what I would call a, a uh, quarterback-friendly type of game. It was just kind of a slog fest out there. So, Lance has upside, the number three overall pick. There's talent. I liked him a lot going to North Dakota State, but... It's fair to wonder if he's ever going to amount to anything. We'll go more in depth here on Lance, including a potential trade package, but make sure you guys are subscribed. Don't miss out on anything around the Titans this offseason. Hit that sub button on YouTube right now. First thing you got to figure out, and this is very tough, what would the trade cost of Trey Lance be? I could easily see the Niners going, we want a first-round pick. Well, Tennessee's drafting top 15. I don't think they'd move that pick to get Trey Lance. I think the second round pick and more could be available. Maybe it's a third round pick or a second round pick this year and a conditional pick in 2024 that could balloon to a wide variety of what the pick ends up being based on how he plays, how the Titans do, etc. Call it a conditional fourth could become an extra second, could dip down to a fifth hell, maybe even a first if they like, you know, make the playoffs or win the Super Bowl or whatever it could end up being. I am unconvinced that the Niners would move Lance. I would let Purdy and Lance compete. But if I'm Tennessee and I'm looking at quarterbacks, right? We didn't see anything from Malik Willis, if we're being honest, guys. I think he owed to himself to at least explore options from that standpoint. So would you do this trade? Y for yes, N for no. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there. Why for yes and for no. I'd do it. Uh, I am. And I made the comment to our Niners report host here, Chase Senior, and others in the office that I was going to risk it all for Trey Lance this year. I took him in a lot of fantasy leagues. Uh, did not work out. He got hurt. Is what it is. Uh, but I'd still gamble again, and now the cost is much is much lower from that standpoint there. Worst case, you could always let Willis and Lance compete for the starting job for a year. I will say this. I was unimpressed by what Malik Willis did this year. Now, he was never supposed to play. He was always supposed to be a, to be, to be a developmental guy behind your veteran quarterback, but let those two compete for a job, right? I think that actually does make sense, and best man win. The worst case is the backup fits your starting quarterback because you're always running the risk of injuries with more mobile guys. Those two could back each other up. We'll talk more about Tannehill and the uncertainty around his future, but first... 
I guess they're still technically rookies. The jerseys are on sale. I thought Traylon Burks showed some nice things this year, by the way. Get his jersey. Other Titans players as well. Chatsports.com slash Titans jersey. Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. And I know it's almost a month past Christmas. If you didn't get what you wanted, maybe you still got some leftover Christmas money. Go get a Titans jersey today. Chatsports.com slash Titans jersey. We'll wrap up today's show with an in-depth look at the future of Ryan Tannehill. Some, I'll call it speculation more so than full-on rumors of him being cut or traded. Bleacher Report has made that argument, and we'll break down what they had to say when it comes to Tannehill and Tennessee. Maurice Moten wrote this. I think it's Moten, not Moten. Uh, who knows? Uh, Titans may look at other options at quarterback. They have the 11th overall pick in the 2023 draft. So move, move a few spots for a single caller isn't out of the realm of possibility. The new decision makers uh, could also push to develop rookie QB Malik Willis, who started in three games. Heading into his age 35 season. Yeah, Tannehill's 35, guys. He has one more year left on his deal before it voids in 2024. Coming off an injury-riddled 2022 season, he could be headed on the decline. His numbers have trended in the wrong direction since former Titans offensive coordinator Arthur Smith took the Falcons' head coaching job, which brings us to the perfect situation for the tail end of his career. The Falcons should be able to get an aged Tannehill for a middle round draft pick. In the event you want to look for a new quarterback situation, I think a trade of Tannehill makes perfect sense. Ship him off, get a draft pick back. That makes sense for Tennessee. You'll get extra value, even if it's just, just a mid-day three pick, whatever it is, rather than just cutting Tannehill, the money ends up being the same. The problem I run into, why would the Falcons do this? Tannehill had battled injuries this year. He is getting up there in age, and his numbers have significantly declined the past two seasons, 2021 and 22 versus 2019, 2020. The completion percentage is still pretty good. The yards are decently similar, although the yards per attempt has gone down. That's a red flag. The games played is actually more this past two years, which seems wrong, but it's the truth. And look at the touchdown and interception ratio. That is a significant difference. And there's this part too. The Falcons want that? Do the Falcons want to pay $27 million to Ryan Tannehill as a most extremely high-priced vet option along with Desmond Ritter and or somebody else in the building? I don't think that makes a lot of sense to them. I could see Tannehill in Atlanta in the event the Falcons cut him. I could see Tennessee saying, ah, you know what, we'll roll it back for one more year with Tannehill, see what ends up happening. But I don't think a trade is the most likely outcome because of the age, decline in play, and the contract. Maybe a team like the Commanders could trick themselves into like they did with Carson Wentz, but at age 35... I'm not sure that's the case anymore. So be honest with me in the comment section. What do you want to do with Ryan Tannehill? T for trade. Again, it's want, not what will. What do you want to do? T for trade, K for keep, or C just to cut him because you just want him gone altogether. Get those votes in for me in the comment section. Remember, folks, if you have not already, please subscribe to us here at Tennessee Titans Today. Free videos. Pretty much every single day as the offseason moves along, we've got you guys covered. Hit that sub button, the red one or the black and white one, depending on which version of YouTube you're on these days. Hit it for me right now.